so I'm Andrea French, and this is my sister Stephanie French, and we are co-owners of The Pie Shop. And today we are going to be making our favorite dessert of all time that we make every Christmas, almost, probably twice a year. Um, it's called English Trifle, and it consists of a bunch of different berries and bananas and uh, a vanilla sponge cake and some English custard, a little bit of vanilla bean and some whipped cream, and then there's going to be a little bit of Dutch chocolate and toasted almonds on top. So, uh, what you're going to do is start with the vanilla pound cake that we made earlier today. So, you want to put the slightly more. No, I like to put the vanilla Okay, cool. Okay. We'll put all the cake in the bottom. So Andy's been known to eat all of this for her birthday, which is around Christmas. Mm. So cake in the bottom, and then we're just going to yeah. load it up with fruit. So you can pick whatever fruit you want. Andy loves raspberries, blackberries, and I love bananas, so we kind of... It's really hard to find in December. <laughs> so at Christmas time, I don't know, a lot of people will use like jams or jellies and stuff, um, but I kind of like, we kind of like the fresh fruit to so get whatever, you know, your, whatever you can. I just, we don't like frozen fruit. It kind of gets watery and gross, so it's stick with the fresh fruit. Um, yeah. If you want, don't try to smush the berries, but try to smush the bananas and the pound cake down a little bit just to fit everything in there. Yeah. You you can make it as cheap as you want or as you know expensive as you want. There's like different ways of going about this. <laughs> but what'll happen is we'll pour the custard on top, and then it'll all seep into the cake and the cream, and just make this awesome fit. Right. So. Crusty custard. So as this sits in the fridge, and remember to pull out your vanilla beans so people don't choke on them. So as this sits in the fridge, all the custard will seep into the cake and make it really yummy. So these are little guys that we made for aka us or our friends or for the wonderful person behind the camera right now that she's going to take it home probably. Yeah, so dinner party wise it's awesome to make little ones because you can just serve them or eat them, put a top on them and eat them for breakfast, which is delicious. Um, traditionally you'd use like a glass bowl so you can see all the layers. But we just kind of use what we have. Um, Andy, you just put a little bit of I think sugar in this, and I don't even think we put vanilla bean in it, but you can. Um, so kind of seal that up. Um, the fun part, we Now we're gonna make it really pretty. And pretty. Yeah. We do not judge people if they like to lick the bowl with the whipped cream in it. I do that. <laughs> yeah, so this is okay, cool. Alright, so this is just some really delicious Dutch cocoa from uh, from Island. Um, you can put like cherries on top, shaved chocolate, whatever you want really. Sweet dude. <laughs> this looks so good. Um, yeah, so that what just happened. Do you want to do this one? Mm -hmm. okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Alright. Yeah, so yeah. after this is all nice and done, just pop it in the fridge for maybe like half an hour or so, and then it'll be ready to serve, and it serves probably up to, I don't know, okay, realistically 10, probably 10 like people? 10 people, but if you're being like greedy, then like <laughs> hey, you know what's really good is make sure your cake isn't hot anymore and that your custard isn't hot because it'll just melt the whipped cream on top. So just make, make sure everything really is cooled down after you make it. Um, so yeah, we'll just pop this one in the... Dude, that looks so good. 